A simple genealogic chant. We always begin to set the tone and the time and the place and to realize genealogically we didn't come from nowhere. We came from long lines of ancestry. We came, we have genealogical, professional genealogy, our kumu, kumu, kumu. All that knowledge needs today in this room. That's what brings the manna. The fact that we collectively understand that we do not stand alone, that this room is much more full than it appears. All our ancestors, all of your ancestors, join us this day to make a better place. That we might sit all in the same canoe for the moment, all paddling in synchronicity, all traveling in the same direction, looking to the same destination. That is how we open. I want to offer one simple chant. Yeah, sure. One more simple chant. This is basically a horizon chant as we embark on this journey. That when you get to those horizons that you're going to, you'll realize there's other horizons beyond that you must need. You must have. The chant is called A on Love. Thank you very much for that beautiful only. What Kiyahi said to all of us is this. We're blessing this particular, particular this event on behalf of all of you as far as participants. It is indeed a privilege to be here, to be a part of the 8th Annual Economic <coughs> Bioeconomy Forum. It started, I believe, Janice, was it 10, 12 years ago, the first forum that we had, in building relationships between countries that Hawaii can be a part of. Hawaii being in the middle of the Pacific, we are facing a lot of challenges, and I think all of us face that in the countries that you come from. But more importantly, today's and tomorrow and Friday's events and activities are basically trying to bring us all together for the common good of sustainability of our mother earth. Governor Ige will be here very shortly, but at this time, may I call upon Representative Jackson Sayama to say a few words, but more importantly, to all the participants, thank you very much. We have participants from Vietnam. We have participants from South Korea. We have participants from other parts of the world and even our own colleagues from the Big Island who are here also. So also before I leave to pass it on to Representative Siam, I want to thank all of the volunteers who played a part in putting on this event, an event that will really benefit not only we who are here, but the state and county of Hawaii. And for our friends from Southeast Asia, Thank you very much, because your participation will open the eyes of those who are local here in understanding what your particular country is doing. So, Representative Jackson Siama, would you like to please come up to say a few words? Hello, everyone. My name is Jackson Sayama. I'm the State House Representative for District 20. I took after uh, now Councilman coming today, and uh, it's really been a long two years, and I'm so glad that we could come here once again to open the 8th Annual Bioeconomy Forum. While 
we haven't been able to come together in person for a while. I'm really happy and glad that we have leaders like yourself, organizations that you represent, that continue to lead the fight against this generational challenge of climate change. Not so long ago, Hawaii, along with our allies, hosted the RIMPAC exercises. And while this was a great demonstration of our military prowess, of technological innovations through autonomous vehicles and collaboration uh, with our allies, you know, I'm glad that we can continue that spirit of innovation and collaboration today, not so much for the purpose of warfare, but for environmental peace. And so I'm excited today to listen to all your stories, your growth over these past two years and what you offer, not only to Hawaii, but for the rest of the world. As you know, Hawaii is a leader in the fight against climate change. And so what we do here matters. We're not just a small island. What we have here makes a global impact. And so I thank you all for, day, for today for coming and for the great work that you will continue to do, not only for the state of Hawaii, but for your respective communities. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I believe Governor Ige will be here shortly. Uh, but in the meantime, um, please uh, relax and uh, please enjoy today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Representative Sayama. We also have as a special guest speaker, Mr. Doug Adams. Are you here, Doug, to say a few words from the county of Hawaii? The county of Hawaii, what does the county of Hawaii has that the other three counties do not have? Any idea? Okay, geothermal, but you guys have the volcano, right? Doug, go right ahead. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. It's a, it's a tremendous honor and, and quite the privilege to be able to uh, stand up here and, and represent my mayor, Mayor Mitch Roth, um, from the county of Hawaii. And um, we also uh, are very happy that um, we have had, um, just as I believe has happened now, I think it's Honolulu now has a representative in the Little League World Series. So congratulations. Uh, we know what that feels like as well. Um, we do pretty well from the state when it comes to that. This is a, an exciting time. Uh, this particular event, the next uh, three days, uh, the ability to have the conversations we're gonna have over the today and tomorrow, and then the opportunity for some of you to be able to go out to, I believe it's Wai'anae, and take a look at what um, is being uh, done in an agricultural setting when it comes to um, energy related activities. This is, this is exactly the kinds of things that we need to be doing. On the island, uh, our island, Hawaii Island, we are, looking at ways to make sure that sustainability is our watchword. It is the theme for Mayor Ross administration um, and, and what he has been focused on. We know that um, we have already had one sustainability summit uh, when we first came in within the first hundred days, an opportunity to talk about the sustainable development goals that uh, the UN has, and then also followed up with our own TED X talk where we talked about climate change and climate um, action plans as a part of um, the work that we're looking at moving forward with experts from around the world. It was a, it was a great event. Uh, we're working towards our next summit, uh, sustainability summit. It will be something that is policy based, a little bit more policy focused because if you're going to turn um, the good ideas that are out there into things that work, we know that you have to work through policies as well. So we're looking forward to the development of that particular summit here sometime in the late fall. I, I would also say that when we think about sustainability on our, line, on our island, it is done with a sense of what is good for all of the people of the island. So there's this real sense of equity as well. Um, we, we, we need to make sure that as we are moving forward to take care of the um, climate work that has to be done, to take care of the renewable energy work that has to be done, that we remember that we're doing this for all the people um, that we have, and in our case, all the people that we have on the island, including those that in some senses are the low to moderate income. For us, we think about the fact that 
nearly 50% or 50% of our population of the households that we have in the island um, are either, they're categorized as either ALICE, which is asset limited income constrained, um, but employed or in poverty. That's a significant issue for us. And everything that we do here over the next few days, all the conversations that we have here over the next few days and that we've been having and will continue to have um, reflect our attempts to make sure that we will um, work for good jobs so that folks can have a quality of life that allows them to take care of their keiki and their keiki taking care of their keiki. It is a part of what we look at as the thriving island that um, we know that we need to build and I know that the other counties need to build um, here as well. Uh, and so again, um, I'm very, very honored to be able to, on behalf of Mayor Roth, um, welcome you to this particular event. I'm looking forward. I was talking to some friends um, that I have, at least I think they're friends. I don't know what they think. Um, but uh, we were talking about how excited we were to, to see this, um, see the conversation, see what's being done. And then let me also not forget to welcome and to say thank you for our visitors and our guests here from South Korea and from Vietnam. Um, Mayor Roth had an, um, a few weeks ago had a just excellent opportunity to, to engage with um, delegation here from South Korea. We're very excited about the centennial that will be occurring here next year. Um, and so the work that you all are doing to bring business here, to help our business come to you, um, that's um, all things that are part of our economic development and, and economic revitalization, not just for Hawaii Island, but also for the state of Hawaii. So, so happy that you're here. Thank you. I will stop. I was trying to see if I could manage it for the governor coming in, but I'm going to give it back to you, Councilman Say. Thank you very much, Doug. <clears throat> to highlight the forum, I, I truly believe that first and foremost, the forum will be focusing for, on all of us in regards to carbon capture storage and utilization. That's a long phrase to say, carbon capture storage utilization, but it is a topic of interest for all of us who are here. Okay, I'll stop right now and we'll have Governor Ige, my very good friend. I'm sorry I'm not in the state legislature anymore, Governor Ige, in supporting you, but uh, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for coming to the forum that we're having this morning and sharing your thoughts and your wisdom with all of the participants who are here. Governor, that particular mic isn't working, oh, okay? okay? So so this is my very good buddy who was in the state house. Now, before that, was in the state Senate. And for eight years now, <laughs> being the governor of this great state of Hawaii, Governor David Ige, who really kept Hawaii in a very safe position during the COVID-19 epidemic. Uh, thanks, Calvin. I appreciate that. Uh, aloha and good morning. Uh, uh, mahalo to co-chairs uh, Representative Jackson Sayama. And I know Calvin used to host this uh, when he was a member of the legislature for many, many, many years. Um, uh, but I, I did want to thank Jackson and Janice Cole for, from the Hawaii Bioeconomy Forum. Uh, and and council member uh, say for continuing to organize this important conversation. You know, five years ago, when the federal government walked away from the Paris Agreement, Hawaii was the first state to stand up and enact legislation committing ourselves to uphold the goals of the Paris Agreement. Uh, we set in law our zero emission clean economy target which aims to sequester more atmospheric carbon and greenhouse gases than emitted within the state as quickly as practical, but no later than 2045. So Hawaii became the first state in the country to commit to a net negative carbon goal because we know that net zero is not good enough. It really is about uh, extracting more CO2 and greenhouse gases from the, the, from the atmosphere than we emit. Uh, this, this year, 
a new Hawaii consortium was created by Hawaii-owned businesses and nonprofit organizations, Dibs Hawaii, Ho'o Ulu Holdings, Ohana Hui Ventures, Pacific Industrial Hemp Alliance, Friends of Waimanalo, Lei Foundation, and Hui Ho'olako to work toward a more bio-based economy for Hawaii. You know, reducing Hawaii's carbon footprint, which affects global climate change, can be done by relying on safe and thriving methods and solutions. Uh, today's forum is uh, really about discussing capturing harmful CO2 emitted daily by industries across the state uh, by using advanced technologies. These technologies safely scrub the harmful CO2 uh, into food grade liquid CO2 to be utilized in positive ways uh, such as energy and food production, construction, new workforce opportunities, community development, and education. We know that we can achieve these benefits and at the same time decrease Hawaii's reliance on imports and expand commodity substitution so that rather than sending money out of state, we can keep it in state to create new jobs here in the islands. Uh, this year I signed um, into law Senate Bill 2865 relating to the uh, issuance of special purpose uh, revenue bonds to assist Dibs Hawaii LLC to, in their use of the dry ice blasting system in so many different areas of our economy. Cleaning and maintenance of electrical equipment, killing bacteria, mold removal, and post-fire applications are just some of the areas uh, the technology can be used. I'm grateful for all the hard work and investments made by our state and federal partners, industry, private sector, um, private landowners, and non-governmental organizations in moving us toward our carbon footprint goals. I look forward to hearing more on our progress to achieving one of the most pressing environmental issues of our time. Uh, thank you so much for your work and interest in this area. Uh, this forum is a great opportunity for uh, hearing from private sector and other interested groups in what we can do by working together. So thank you all, appreciate the opportunity. Governor Egan, thank you very much for your vision. The past eight years has been tremendous. Tremendous growth in the Alternative Energy Forum, tremendous growth in the vision of where Hawaii is. People don't realize, and the general public doesn't realize your eight years as far as your contribution in addressing climate change. But in more particular, I just wanted to say, thank you, thank you, thank you on behalf of the people of Hawaii for your public service. So at this time, I'll call, I'll call upon Janice to introduce our dignitaries from the respective uh, countries that are here and participating. Thank you, Governor, that he just signed the Senate bill and made it into law, and Act 198 was declared. So I'm so uh, proud that he's, uh, uh, he has uh, actually worked to support uh, the climate change and also the carbon uh, storage and also the utilization uh, in our, actually in our community. And today I'm honored to introduce uh, so many of beautiful, beautiful Vietnamese uh, friends and colleagues, and especially Dr. Nin has been, he should be in our committee. <laughs> so he should be our uh, co-chair as well. 
and it has been a modern culture, has been participating in the forum from the beginning. Uh, has, uh, he's a frequent uh, visitor to the U.S. He's a frequent speaker in the international forum addressing climate change. He's a known uh, a scholar and academician and uh, has actually owned the Center for um, the Training and uh, Education Development and Research Development, uh, CERET, uh, Research Center in Hanoi. So uh, we are grateful that he brought his delegation to show his commitment to climate change. And today, um, also, I must uh, acknowledge uh, there are many uh, big islands. Uh, Doug Adams came from, a, a, he flew in this morning from Big Island. Also, we have a Warren Lee, if you don't mind standing up. <laughs> and he is a CEO and president of uh, Huhonua uh, Biomass Power Plant. And uh, we appreciate his great work. And also, we have uh, Jerry Chang from uh, uh, Jerry. He is a former state of uh, Hawaii House Representative, and he also flew in from uh, Big Island. So we have uh, um, actually more than uh, 10 delegation from Big Island representing beautiful Hawaii. And we have a uh, Doug Mekana uh, for beautiful <laughs> and tasty 100% coffee that he brought in in his uh, suitcase this morning. So we really appreciate David uh, uh, that because that's his copy was chosen as a number one in the state and so uh just flavor is just beautiful and we also like to um introduce uh we because we have not been uh gathered we are so used to the zoom conference so today but then it'll be mix mixture with uh, some will rep, uh, present uh, through zoom and then we also have a live stream and uh, we got, uh, we have uh, the committee members that are so talented, they can probably run the TV station. <laughs> and, uh, and then also we'd like to recognize um, uh, Keone's uh, mom, mother and father who prepared beautiful flower setting. And uh, we really appreciate. At this time, um, we also have uh, many House Representative uh, Sam Kong and uh, Lisa Martin, we'll have, yes, we uh, want to recognize. And then later we'll hear from uh, Representative Lisa Martin. Uh, we also heard a beautiful chant from uh, Kiai, you know, he is a chief of staff.